Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna share with you my July favorites. I'm so excited, let me clear off some space here. Um, I just filmed a tutorial, tutorial on this makeup look and I actually just added a little bit on my eyes to um, switch it up a tiny bit, not much, just one shade, a little darker shade in the outer. But anyway, I will be putting up a, a tutorial on this makeup look next. Um, and I did put my hair up because it is extremely hot in my little room here. Like I'm sweating over here. I did this look and I felt like I was sweating. I'm gonna raise my chair too. Um, so anyway, yeah, so that's why my hair is up. Sorry, it looks messy, but we're just gonna stick with it. Otherwise, it would be a big sweaty mess at the end of this video. Let's just get started on my July favorites, okay? I actually don't have a ton of makeup products. I have um, more like skin, and then I even have a hair product. Um, but for the most part, I feel like this, the theme of July is skin. I discovered some new skincare products that I'm enjoying a lot, so um, I can't wait to share with you. Let's go. Okay, so I just wanna tell you how classy I am. I am drinking wine from a can. So, my neighbor and my new friend turned me on to these and I am obsessed with them. And I'm drinking wine from a can, don't judge. But it is the Presto Sparkling uh, Wine White Wine, Italian Sparkling Wine, it's really good, I like it. Normally I just drink them out of the can, but I thought I'd be class it up a bit, make it a little bit more fancy, and drink it out of the glass. All right, so let's get started first with my, probably my favorite product, I have two products that I discovered that just really like knocked my socks off. The first one is the Tatcha Pure One Step um, Camellia Cleansing Oil. Uh, I had been wanting to try Tatcha for a while. I've been seeing all the you know rave reviews on YouTube, and my friend Kate uses it. She has oily skin, so she uses a few different other products, but it's just beautiful. I mean, the packaging of this is beautiful. I wish I still had the box that it came in so I could show you. I mean, it was like, I actually kept the box and the little tissue paper it came with for like two weeks because I wanted to film a video with you and with it and show it, but I didn't get around to doing that. Um, so I've been using this for a good while. Um, it is incredible. I use it every single day. Um, I pump two pumps in my hand and I just put it on my dry skin to just break down my makeup. I take my fingers and I set it on my like lashes because I wear a lot of products on my lashes. I wear the primer and the mascara. Um, and I just let it sit there for a few minutes and then I kind of gently massage my lashes. Um, and it just takes off all my makeup so easily. My skin feels so soft afterwards. Sometimes I use a cleanser afterwards. Sometimes I don't. Um, but I just love it. And I love the bottle. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, this is not a cheap line when I was at Sephora. That's why I hesitated buying some of their products for so long because everything was pretty expensive and I have a skincare line that I love and that's where Dana feels and so I just I find um, it hard to kind of stray away especially when it's products that are um, quite a bit more expensive and anyway this one was not that expensive I think it I want to say I have to link it down below but I want to say it was like under $50 which is still a lot but um, when you're looking at some of the other stuff like the beauty oil that they have that I still want is like $100 and I just can't bring myself to spend $100 on a beauty oil uh, but this stuff is great so it is the um, cleansing oil I read that you can use it to take off your makeup um, or you can use it for a cleanser I use it for both sometimes I will feel the need to wash my face sometimes I don't the next product is another cleanser that I discovered. I actually discovered this because when I went to Mexico, I just packed a lot of like my little sample products that I get from Sephora Play and, and VIB, you know, points, perks, products. And one of the products that I got was, um, I don't know how you say this, I don't know if it's Bosha or Bosha, um, but they gave me a tiny little sample of, not tiny, it was actually a good size sample, but anyway, a sample of this, I took it with me to Mexico because it was a cleanser and I didn't want to carry my big um, Rodan Fields bottles or anything like that, so I brought this and I loved it. I had no idea what to expect. Um, when you pump this out, it is black. So that was my first like surprise. I pumped this out and I was like, whoa, it's black. And it's actually kind of, I don't want to say sticky, it's not sticky, but it's like like a gel, but it like, I don't know, it's not sticky, it's kind of sticky, but not in a bad way, if that makes sense. But the really cool thing about this is it warms up. So keep in mind, I had not, I didn't know what to expect with this. I hadn't heard anything about it. Um, I pour it out and I'm like, oh, it's black. And I'm like, whoa, it's warming my face up. It was the coolest feeling, I loved it. It smells, to me, it smells like a spa. Like if I'm in a really high-end spa, that's what I'm smelling. That's what this smells like. This is the um, Detoxifying Black Cleanser. So I ended up buying a bottle of it. It's pretty affordable. Um, it's $28 for this cleanser. I absolutely love, love, love this stuff. Um, so I don't use this every single day, but I'll usually like use this in the morning when I don't have makeup on. I'll um, use some of that. Next product is another makeup remover. 
It is the L'Oreal Clean Artiste Waterproof and Long Wearing Eye Makeup Remover. Um, so usually I get most of my makeup off with a face wash or that Tatcha oil, uh, but when it comes to my eyes, I find it really hard to get my eye makeup off. And I don't like to scrub my eyes too hard because I feel like my lashes are weak and when I do that, I feel like I look down and I see lashes all over the place, which I don't like to see because that means they're falling out. So I like to use something that's going to break down my makeup easily, effortlessly, and something that I don't have to scrub a lot. So I picked this stuff up. It is an oil. You can tell when you look at it, you can see the oil separation. But I basically just shake this up, put it on a little puff, and I just let it sit on my um, eye, my mascara and my eyes for a good 30, 45 seconds if I can. And then I gently, gently like put a little bit of pressure and just kind of wiggle my finger. Again, I don't rub too much because my lashes are weak. Um, and it just takes off my eye makeup so easily. So a very inexpensive, great uh, mascara remover. Okay, the next I'm real excited about this. I posted on Instagram when I received this in the mail from Forio, Forio, Forio. Um, I love this guy. Um, I forget if this is, I'm not sure if this is the mini or... I don't know, um, but I will link it down below exactly what this is, like which model it is. But they sent this to me and I was so excited to try it because, again, I had heard great things about it, but I couldn't like bring myself to um, drop the money on this. Um, I think it's like 150 or 100 or so. Um, it is amazing, you guys. So the way that I use this is I use it with my, I actually use it with any um, cleanser that I'm using. And basically, um, I it, you just turn it on. You kind of have to hold it down. You turn it on and it just has like this really quick pulsating and vibrating and you just like rub your face with it with your cleanser. It feels so good. It's so relaxing. I think it's programmed to do it for like two minutes, which to me actually felt like a long time. That was the one thing when I got it that I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do it every night because I'm in such a rush all the time. Um, but I enjoy it so much that I make the time for it. Um, and so I will, it, my skin just feels so soft after using this. Um, I had a Clarisonic for a while and I think the Clarisonics are great, especially for cleansing your skin. Um, it just didn't feel, this feels so much more gentle and soft on my skin after I use it my skin feels so soft and so clean and I did feel like after a good week of consistently using this I felt like my skin looked brighter so and more radiant so I'm a big fan of this um, it's really cool if you get on their site they have different ones for different skin types um, so I'm in, I'm not sure which one they sent me exactly but I will look and let you know in the description box exactly which one I got Okay, so let's jump to hair. I actually don't have the product in front of me that I love. I need to go buy it, but I do have its little sister or brother. Another Sephora VIB uh, Points Perks product that I got and I took with me to Mexico. I got the Living Proof proof uh, nourishing line, I guess is what it is. Um, and I got the shampoo and the conditioner, and this is not either of those, but it looks exactly like it, the one I got. It's obviously a sample size. Um, and I took it with me to Mexico, because again, I don't want to pack huge shampoo and conditioner bottles. And let me just tell you guys, this stuff blew me away, especially the conditioner. When you're at the beach, your hair gets salty and a giant mess to wash, right? You're at the pool all day, you're at the beach, you have sand in your hair. It's not something you look forward to when it comes to brushing your hair at night after you've showered. Um, but I put the conditioner in, it, in and I let it sit for like two or three minutes. And I'm telling you, when I rinsed it out, my hair felt incredible and amazing. I even used it on my daughter. She has curly hair and she's four. So she doesn't, you know, she's just all over the place. So her hair naturally gets super tangly, whether we're at the beach or the pool or not, it's just always tangly. And I layered this in her hair and just let it sit there. And her, a comb and a brush went through her hair like butter. It was so easy. Easy. Um, I particularly the con conditioner is what I really really love I like the shampoo too but I was blown away with the conditioner so I'm definitely gonna go pick some of this up at Sephora the next time I am there <clears throat> okay the last three products that I have are um, skin products but more on the cosmetic side they're not skincare products um, the first is the L'Oreal infallible pro glow foundation I did a um, I think I did a first impression or review on this I will link it down below and this foundation you guys is so beautiful I have totally fallen in love with this and it surprises me because it's summertime so it's really hot right now but I still love it I don't feel like it's too glowy or too dewy I feel like it wears really well that I can get away with wearing it in the hot summer months and it still looks good it doesn't look like a big sweaty mess on me it just looks really natural like it just is so easy to blend I apply it with a um, real techniques or a beauty blender sponge 
Um, it's just so nice. Like you can get a very sheer natural finish from it if you want, or you can build it to get more coverage, but it just looks so beautiful and just blends so easily. Um, so yeah, I really love this one. I am the shade, um, what shade am I? I'm the shade 204 Natural Buff. The next foundation is another one that kind of sounds, when I describe it, it sounds a lot like what I just described with the Pro Glow. It's the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. Before I forget, I'm in the shade um, Mystical. Uh, I have it on today. This foundation really surprised me. I bought this because Jaclyn Hill had talked a lot about it, and I really wanted to try it and review it for you guys um, to give you my honest opinion. I wasn't expecting to fall in love with it, to be honest, um, but it's so pretty. Like... Again, with the Pro Glow, it can give you a very natural sheer finish coverage or it can give you more of a medium to full coverage depending on how you build it. I think the two biggest differences between these two is the actual consistency of it. So when you squeeze this on your hand, this feels thicker where this feels more liquidy and lightweight, um, but it doesn't look too heavy on the skin. I guess if I had to pick between the two, I would think that this, I would have to say that this looks more natural than this one, but this still looks really doesn't look too heavy, okay, if that makes sense. I do have it on today, and I did build it to get a more of a full coverage, and I did use my Real Techniques sponge. Um, that's the best way I have found to apply this is by using a damp sponge. It's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. And the last product is one I actually hesitated talking about because it's pretty expensive. Um, and I, uh, again, I, I haven't I had wanted to buy this for so long, but I just talked myself out of it um, because it's so expensive. But then I finally broke down and I bought it and I, I was thinking, I wasn't expecting, I expected to like it just because I've heard a lot of great things about it, but I wasn't expecting to feel like I would repurchase it or I wasn't expecting to tell, actually tell you that I think it's worth the money, but I kind of think it's worth the money. It's the Clo de Peau Concealer. If you haven't heard about this, um, I will try and find some videos and link them down below. I want to say Glam Life Guru Tati talked about this. I've heard a lot about this product, and um, the, the icing on the cake for me was when I saw a girlfriend using this at the gym, and she's not like someone that really loves like a huge makeup Fan, fanatic like me. So when she was using it, she's like, oh my gosh, you have to use it. It's the best. I've been using it, you know, for years. I was like, okay, maybe I should try this. It's $70 though, guys. It's a concealer that's $70. So it is expensive. Um, but I was walking by Neiman's one day and I picked it up and it's really, really nice. Um, it's a stick concealer. I am the shade beige. And I will say this, I think there's one more shade that's lighter than beige. And it's a big jump. Um, there was a big leap from the lightest one to this one. Uh, but I think this one is a good shade. Like it, it's dark enough to cover my dark circles, but still bright enough to give me a nice highlight. The consistency is so rich and thick and creamy, but it doesn't feel thick on the skin. Um, I did use it as a primer today for this eyeshadow look. I did not put a primer, so I basically like circled my eyes with this and I used a sponge to really blend it in. I feel like a sponge is the best way to work with this product because it is a thicker consistency. You want something that is just like gonna press it into the skin uh, so that you don't have any excess product that's going to crease or move around. I haven't really experienced this concealer creasing at all. I usually don't have problems with concealers, though, um, and I always set my concealer with the powder. So if you are someone that has problems with your concealer creasing all the time, um, I would say this one is worth a shot. Maybe you go and get a sample before you try it. Uh, I haven't, but that's not saying much because I don't really have problems with my, shadow, my concealer creasing too much. So anyway... That wraps up my July favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love sharing products that I love with you guys. Share with me what products you are loving this month. Um, let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I am just... Um, I just want to say thank you. Like I feel really, I took some time off from YouTube a couple weeks. It wasn't like a huge, wasn't like a huge span of time, but I took some time off and it felt so good to upload that video. And I just got such great feedback from you guys, such supportive feedback. Like you guys are awesome. And I just want to thank you for that so much. So I hope you guys are enjoying your July. Now it's August. Ah, back to school. I'm actually, I'm so excited about this. Um, I am going to be doing back to school makeup on my girlfriend's, my friend's, uh, daughter. She is in high school. She's just turned 15 years old and I'm trying to get her to let me film a back to school makeup tutorial look on her soon. So that should be coming on my channel very, very soon. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys soon. I hope you guys have a great week and bye. Hey, don't you think I can see that you've been looking at me, that you've been staring at my face?